Greetings, my name is Sean from Live365. I'll be going through a video tutorial showing you how to relist your station when it's delisted for DMCA compliancy while broadcasting in basic mode. What you'll want to do is pull up your email stating that your station was delisted for the DMCA compliancy. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my email here. This is the email that you receive. It usually has your username and what the violation is. Here, as you can see, it says too many tracks from a single album. So this album is called No Return, and it's related to this artist named A Singer. So the problem is too many tracks from the same album. So what I need to do is go into my Live365 broadcasting account. I'm going to go ahead and minimize or close my email and log into my account. So go ahead and go to Live365.com. Click on Login. Use your username and password information to log in. Once you're logged in, click on the My Broadcast link, which is at the very top. Okay, at this page, you should see the directory listing, and it should generally have red text stating that you're not listed. This is the case. Go ahead and click on Details, which is right at the end of that section for directory listing. This should bring you to the Playlist Analyzer, which will analyze the playlist to make sure you're compliant and everything's fine. Ensure that the playlist that you're going to modify or that you need to manipulate is listed in the playlist name area. Generally, it has something next to it that says failed. Here, the active one, which is the one playing, is the one that's not compliant. It says active and failed. All right, so let's go ahead and scroll down. You should see the red text. This is the same text that's in my email that I received, just actually probably a little bit more data. So it's saying there's too many tracks from a single album. The limit is three for three hour period. So that's a one-to-one -one ratio. You can only have one song for one hour from that artist or from that album. You have to fill up the whole hour with a bunch of different stuff. So here what I have to do is ensure I have a certain amount of albums from No Return or called No Return from a singer. Here, instead of a, as it shows in an email, it actually shows you the location of the items in the playlist. So number four, Number 12, and it said number 25, right? So put the check next to the box, next to those items. There's only those three on this page, 4, 12, 25. Once you have them checked, let's go ahead and click on the Remove from Playlist. It's going to ask you to confirm. Go ahead and say OK. The page will actually reset and refresh showing you an updated analyzer of that playlist. Not always does it pull up the same playlist, so again, double check to ensure that the playlist that you want to modify or edit is the one that's chosen in the playlist name table. Okay, if it has a green text stating that the station will be listed in the directory if this playlist is activated, what you have to do, you have to go ahead and restart the playlist. All these changes we made aren't current until we actually restart the playlist. So to go ahead and activate the station, go ahead and click on the Q playlist text link at the top. It should bring you to a page to control the station. It's called the Controls tab. Go ahead and ensure that the playlist you just modified and corrected is listed here and chosen. Once that's selected, choose Start Broadcast, which is the yellow button in the middle. The page will refresh. You should see a confirmation at the top stating that the broadcast has been started. As it states, it's going to take about 5 to 10 minutes to completely show back in the directory and be compliant. Go ahead and click the Broadcast Status page. As you see, it still says Not Listed, but we just saw that notification and confirmation saying it's going to take about 5 to 10 minutes. We'll give it some time. The station will automatically start streaming and make you compliant again. This concludes our video tutorial on how to make your station compliant and relist it when being delisted in basic mode. For more information, visit the link in the description box below.